fanzines. As alternative media. It takes hours to write, draw, lay out, cut, look for articles, and so on. Are hours that are not used to just be spent in front of the television. Spent looking at cell phones or for various other things that are often used to kill free time. Zine is a form of publication that is published and self-published by the author, zines are made not for money, but for love. Love to express, love to share, love to communicate. And as a form of protest against a culture and environment that offers too little appreciation for these things. Zines are also made of anger. There are no boundaries in a zine except those set by those who created it. Zine creators can decide what kind of zine they will create. Zine is an autonomous and non-commercial publication. Zine makers use every possibility at their disposal to produce a zine. Forgetting all the standard prerequisites for a media that only hinders productivity and creativity. A zine can be photocopied or printed on a black and white or color printing press, handwritten, typed on a typewriter, or use a computer. Zine can be small or large, contain images and text, or just one of them in a layout using a computer. Or simply use scissors, glue, old pen and paper, do it alone, or with friends. Contains notes, ideas, or any topic the creator wants, just distribute them with your closest friends. Within the community, or widely distributed, distributed free of charge, or bartered. Zine is something simple and fun. Something that everyone can do. Something that gives free space for every expression and imagination. Zines also provide alternative avenues for the impasse of communication and interaction, against every alienation that exists in today's viewing society. Zine will become real as we live it. We will feel it, carry it wherever we go, give it at various events that we visit, read it wherever we want, read it wherever we want, read it wherever we want, read it wherever we want. Read it wherever we want.